Hey everybody, I'm Nicholas from the library at WSU Vancouver and today I want to give you some uh, quick tips to help you with the library research assignment number one. Specifically, uh, the section of the assignment that has you find a, a contemporary news article on a, a topic that interests you. So, um, to start off with, uh, let's go jump to uh, the instructions and the library's homepage so uh, we can look at how to get going. Okay, so on the right hand side of the screen, we have LRA number one instructions. Uh, the instructions for your specific section may not look exactly like this, but the instructions are um, based on the same template, so they will be close. Be sure to read your instructions carefully to make sure that you're doing what your instructor asks you for, not uh, the one that I'm using. But they're going to be pretty close. And on the left-hand side of the screen, we have the library's homepage, which we're going to use to navigate to some sources that should make this project a little easier for you. So in the instructions, I'm going to scroll to the section that I'm looking for. Uh, be aware that the orange bits are the parts of the assignment that cause you to take action. So pay close attention to those and also pay attention to the heading structure. The bolded parts are more important than the smaller parts. So read the fine print when you need to, but uh, read the headings to navigate through the document. And I'm going to go to step number two, locate a contemporary news article. And it begins with what's maybe the easy button. You can always just Google it to look for these things. And if that gets you what you need quickly and you can get the citation from it quickly that way, by all means, go ahead and do it. I want to show you some library tools that will give you some really good options uh, and also make it a little easier to cite things. So uh, you can make a choice which way you want to do it after seeing this. So what we're being asked to do is um, on your Word document, you'll create a heading to dash contemporary media source and then use Chicago style notes and bibliography format, not the footnote format, but the notes and bibliography format, enter in the citation. So we need to find news reporting about an issue that interests us and we need to uh, cite it using the Chicago notes bibliography format. So here's what I suggest we do. We go over to the library's homepage and we go to research resources. And from that, we want the resources by subject list. It's available here in the center of the screen, but we'll go here from the left-hand menu, hit resources by subject. Lots of subjects here. We are a tier one research university. Uh, I'm going to go to newspaper databases because that's what we want. And if we look at these under most useful, the New York Times historical collection, the 19th century newspapers, and scrolling down here to the Times of London, those are going to be super helpful when we get to the uh, primary sources part of the LRAs. Not super helpful today. The one that we want today is the Access World News Research Collection. This is going to give us a collection of globally sourced newspapers uh, that can help us with the global perspectives on our issue. So, I'm going to come here, and the issue that I'm going to choose is the Hagia Sophia. This uh, was originally a basilica that was built in Constantinople by the Byzantines. It was the world's largest freestanding dome at the time. Uh, it's a beautiful building, and it's quite an architectural uh, marvel. Uh, when the Seljuk Turks uh, conquered the Byzantines and pushed them out, renaming Constantinople Istanbul, the Hagia Sophia became a mosque. And it remained a mosque until the 20th century when Ataturk uh, led a secular Turkish um, revolution and founded the republic that is Turkey today. Uh, just recently, the leader of Turkey, Erdogan, um, decided that instead of the Hagia Sophia being a civic museum, a secular building used for history, it would be reconsecrated as a mosque again. And that's the big news. So I want to find reporting about that, um, largely because I think there's lots of ties in history to other times when there's been a clash between the religious use of, of a civic building whether it's a clash between two different religions 
or it's, um, for example, there are some beautiful cathedrals in Spain that began their life as um, mosques uh, under the caliphate. Um, just like the Hagia Sophia started as a basilica, now it's a mosque. Uh, and also there's the um, civic government versus uh, religious government question, which we can see mirrored in some of our political uh, situations today. It's just going to be rich for finding a lot of sources as you look for a monograph and your uh, secondary sources as well. So what we find here, this first one, Hagia Sophia reclaiming one's Islamic uh, identity, this may work. It reads just to me a little bit like an essay and not quite like news reporting. Uh, I'm guessing that custom Galaxy Note 20 and $6,000 cell phones are not going to be helpful to us. I'd like a $6,000 cell phone, but uh, something might come up here in the Central Anatolia media highlights, but I think we can find something better. So I'm going to keep scrolling until I find um, this piece here. I'll put a check mark next to it. The Hagia Sophia Museum to Mosque Conversion draws a range of reaction. The Hagia Sophia, an architectural masterpiece in Turkey, has been both a church and a mosque over the centuries, but since 1935, it served a strictly secular use as a museum. This piece in the Jerusalem Post, um, from just yesterday it looks like, has all of the things that I'm looking for in this, and I think it's gonna be a really rich source for finding more keywords and vocabulary that we can use to search. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on the article and look over it um, to make sure that it's actually what I think. Um, titles, they're, their one job is to tell you what's in the article, but sometimes they can be deceiving, so always be sure to go through and at least skim before you invest too heavily in um, an article to make sure that it's got what you need. But here I'm finding lots of good um, vocabulary terms. There's uh, Erdogan, the head of Turkey, Hagia Sophia, architectural masterpiece, church and a mosque. These are the things that we're looking for. Secular use. Uh, we're looking for secular, religious, orthodox Christianity. A lot of these terms, we can use them to search and find uh, more, autumn, more um, items. So this is a good one. But what we need to deliver if we've read our instructions carefully over here on the right hand side is the bibliographic full citation so it's not enough just to have the article although i do recommend that you save it and i would do that by clicking the download button and i'm just going to grab the pdf i will include the citation because we need that and i'm going to choose cms which should stand for the chicago manual of style and download. Uh, but as I'm thinking of the citation, this quote and then the C is how we can pull a citation out of this. And we see Chicago Manual of Style, CMS. I'm going to click on it and it's going to generate this lovely block that has all of the basic Chicago elements. Um, but I can also see right from the start that the first bit the author's name, Philip Rappaport, is all caps. And uh, I'm pretty sure Chicago style has you capitalize the first letter of names and proper nouns, but not the whole thing. So we'll need to do at least some fixing. But the commas and uh, the italics are in the right places, which we can verify. So I'm going to highlight that, paste it into my Word document, and then double check with the Chicago Manual of Style to make sure that I'm using notes bibliography format and not the footnote format to get it all right. Because as the disclaimer says, we always want to check automatically generated citations against the official manual. The algorithms, they're not perfect. They make mistakes. We need to check. But that is going to get you through a good chunk of LRA1. Um, you can certainly use websites like the instructions say. Uh, you might have to work a little harder to get the citations uh, perfect there, but either way, you'll be able to have a contemporary news article, and we can move on to the next um, part of 
the assignment, which is going to be pulling out some keywords. And there'll be another video for that. Uh, there'll be videos for quite a few things on the LRA assignment, so uh, look for us again, me uh, and my colleagues. Um, you'll see some videos on keyword generation, on finding monographs, on finding journal articles, and on finding primary sources. So that's it for today, and I hope to see you later. Cheers.